So this all begs the question, how do we fix these problems, these common myths and misconceptions around ERP implementations that can lead to failure? Well, if I were to give you one piece of advice, just one single thing, it would be to start your project with a phase zero, a proper phase zero, where you go through the implementation planning, you define what it is you expect to get out of this project. You ensure that your leadership team is on the same page with the major decisions that need to be made throughout a project. You do an organizational assessment during this phase zero to understand what the cultural nuances of your business are so that you can factor that into your overall implementation strategy, making sure you have a realistic timeline and budget that reflects all those other things I just talked about. That phase zero piece of a project is arguably the most important phase of the project. And oftentimes you can tell when a project is going to succeed or fail based on how well they do or don't do phase zero. And when we're working with some clients that didn't do phase zero, we find that in most cases they, they failed largely because they didn't take the time up front to do that work. The ones that do phase zero early in the project are exponentially more likely to succeed in their initiatives because, not because phase zero itself is some magic silver bullet, but because phase zero forces you to overcome and navigate some of these myths and risks and pitfalls that are so common with these misconceptions that I'm talking about here today.